can't bike it here. Just been to the little cafe near the Druids Temple, and now it's time for part two of the devilishly calm tour that Graham didn't know it was called until a minute ago. <laughs> uh, and we're off to the Devil's Arrows. That's assuming we can get out of this car park without any major problems, because it's not the nicest car park. Yay! It's off-roady! Says we to Larry the Lamb. Ah, lovely, lovely, lovely tarmac. Devil's Arrows, it's a bit like, uh, if you watched a, a video I did a while back, a bit like Rudston Monolith. They are many years of standing stones. Uh, many a, I think, means long stone or something along those lines. But basically, very tall standing stones. The tallest one is about six and a half metres. And in this case, there's three of them. They're not like the Druid's Temple that I've just been to in the previous video, where it's uh, all fake. These are the real thing, prehistoric stones. Nobody really knows who put them there. They're worth five in a row. Now we're only three left. One of them got take it, taken away and made into a bridge somewhere. And another one got accidentally knocked over um, a couple of hundred years ago whilst people were looking for treasure. Because if there's treasure to be had, people will uh, knock anything over, won't they? Real shame. But there were five in a line, and now there are three in a line. And they form part of a greater set of things. So there's a, several henges and some circuses or carcasses, I never know how to pronounce that one. Some burial grounds, all in a line around here, around Yorkshire. So hopefully they'll be impressive. One of them's on one side of the road, where hopefully we're going to park up. There's a little plaque there. And the other two are in the field opposite. And I only know that's from looking at Google Maps. I've never actually been to this place before. That's the A1, just over that fence. We're running parallel to it at the moment. It's just here. There it is. There you go, Graham. Can you see it? Oh, no, I can see it. <laughs> There you go, circa 2700 BC. That's the first one. And I can just see the top of the second one over that bush. And the third one's much smaller, just behind it. Let's go take a look. We're not leaving already. But Graham has made an excellent point. I thought this road was going to be quieter than it is. I mean, it's not very quiet, but uh, there's a little side road there, so I'm just going to spin it round and put them in there instead. At least I would do if I hadn't put my key in my pocket somewhere. That's where we were parked, just in the middle there, and just up in the trees, you can see the first of the Devil's Arrows, one we saw. And the next of the Devil's Arrows isn't the Linden Home sign. Or the van. It's over there in the distance, between those two trees and the tree on the right hand side you can see another stone near it not as big the smallest of his arrows I guess but there's the third one as I say there were five in a row but two of them are gone so I'm gonna wander over and have a look at them now stood at the side of a field of wheat I'm reliably told it's wheat and not barley you see two of the stones almost in alignment the third one's behind us but behind a bush so you can't see it but the alignment's interesting because if you draw lines through the three of them as is the case with a lot of these old things, these prehistoric things, it lines up with something important. And in this case, what it lines up with is the most southerly moonrise in summer. Further around now, there's the small stone. This is as close as we're going to get to the big one in the middle. And then over there in the distance, in the trees, is the other one. Pretty hard to see from here, but... 
hopefully solve that in a minute. You see the angle that that's arranged at. You can imagine that coming over as an arrow, can't you? Now, the, so the story goes, the legend says that the devil wanted to destroy Aldborough. So it fired these number of arrows. Sorry for the camera going a bit haywire. Uh, fired a number of arrows at Aldborough, but they landed short in Boroughbridge. Apparently the devil shouted before he fired these arrows at Aldborough. Boroughbridge, keep out at way, for Aldborough town will I ding down. Clearly, the devil not only was a bad shot, but he were a Yorkshireman. Keep out at way. We get an idea of size from this. What if I put Graham in? There's Graham. There's Tarot. Here's a picture for scale. Bear in mind, this is the small rock. It's a big bugger, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Can you just push it across to the right a bit? It's not quite in the right alignment. <laughs> But well, that's us leaving the Devil's Arrows and the end of the uh, <laughs> two-stop, devilishly calm trip. <laughs> that was good fun. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Just a shame it's now starting to rain. But we're going to head back down the motorways to get back quick, I think. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Ride safe. And I'll talk to you all again soon.